So uh, I am Dominique Gruyer from Domaine Dominique Gruyer. Uh, I live in Epineuil. So Epineuil is a little village nearby Chablis, 20 kilometers from Chablis, uh, northeast from Chablis. It's a very, very little uh, vineyard with only uh, uh, in acres. I, I don't know, perhaps you can say, but it's 120 hectares of vines. So it's very little, mostly red and a little bit of uh, white too. Uh, and for the reds, uh, the name of the, the, the wine is uh, Bourgogne Pinoy and for the rosé. And for the white, the name is Bourgogne Tonnerre. And we have also some uh, vineyard, some vines in uh, Chablis. Uh, we produce Chablis, uh, Petit Chablis, Petit Chablis sur les Clos, which uh, we, we will uh, test uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Chablis Village and Chablis Premier Cru Monté de Tonnerre. I started uh, the, to work uh, on, organic, on an organic way in 2003. And, uh, Our wines were organic until 16, and we get some problem in 16, and so we we stopped for one year, and we started again in 17. Yeah, that happens for most of Burgundy, right? Because um, um, of the the condition were very bad. So in 16, um, all the producers just um, lost their uh, organic like certification uh, just to get back on their feet. Um, yeah. yeah. Epineuil was a very, very known vineyard in the 18th centuries, and it disappeared at the beginning of the 20th centuries because of the frost, uh, the First World War, uh, a lot of things, a, a lot of very bad things. Uh, there was in Epineuil and the, the city nearby Epineuil, which is called Tonnerre, Uh, around the same, the same vineyard than Chablis today. So it was very, very big. It's everything disappears on 40, 40 years. And we, we, we started to replant the vineyard in mm, uh, uh, 1978. So it's not very, very old. Uh, now we have, uh, so I, I said, 120 hectares of vines in Epineuil for all the wine growers. And for us, we have uh, in Epineuil 25 hectares and in Chablis 5 hectares of vines. Uh, alors, I like, so uh, I am on organic way to, to make, um, to have, um, Um, nicer vines first to have uh, a, a very very nice vines, uh, very um, uh, on the healthy vines. Um, it gives much more uh, interesting grapes. So to make the wine after that, it's easier. And uh, I I like to make uh, drinkable wines. So. Uh, I uh, try to use uh, uh, very, very, um, uh, come on, the, the petite dose, the sulfite, uh, very low uh, sulfites. Yeah, low, do low, low dose, low dose sulfites. Low dose of sulfites for the white, and sometimes nothing for the red, or only a little bit just before bottling. And um, uh, I, I don't use. Uh, No, I, I use any yeast, uh, nothing, nothing, uh, only, only a little bit of sulfites, but no, nothing else. And um, I try also to make wine that you can keep a few years if, we want, if you want, but I like to, 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 to open a bottle uh, the first year, the second, the third, uh, and every time it, it will be good. <laughs> I try. Um, So uh, perhaps we can taste the first yeah, one. Yeah, so you, you, you try to make a, a very approachable wine for people to enjoy um, in the youth, um, as well as if they want to age it a bit more, they can do. But the, your, your wines are um, um, very expressive from the, the, the year of the release. 
uh, straight away, which which sometimes burgundy when you have to wait for, especially for the reds, you have to wait a bit more to to be able to have the um, and the balance between the fruit and um, the the oak, um, and then just for the wine to open to be more enjoyable. So your wines are more very much um, pleasurable uh, straight away, uh, and uh, this is what you're saying. You you about your the place you are. Um, yes. it's quite a very special place uh, with a lot of history behind it. Uh, can you talk ah, yes. about this uh, the, the domain, the place? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we are in a very nice domain because it's an old um, dependence of an old uh, Cistercian Abbey. So it's a very, very nice place with a, a big cellars, and it's uh, it was well, it was built in 1212, so not not very young. <laughs> so it's very nice, and I, I love this place. And I hope you can you could come and and see and and we have a, a night there. You sleep very well and it's perfect. <laughs> it's a perfect place. And um, I can speak also a little bit about Epineuil because uh, it was very known and it disappears. But it was very known because the the terroir in Epineuil is very interesting. It's the same soil than than in Chablis but there is a little bit more clay and it give for the red it give uh, a, a lot of uh, minerality on the wines very interesting minerality uh, of the for, for the reds and for the white it give a, a softness that you you can't find in chablis it's like a chablis but round chablis ah. mm. Uh, uh, I thought we lost you the, 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 the video just. Um, ah, yes. That's fine. Yes, it, it's a very, very, uh, yes. Je crois que la, the connection is good. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. good. So it's a very interesting terroir uh, for red, for white, and also for sparkling. It, uh, it, it's a very, very interesting place. Not very known because uh, it's, it's too little. And we are only uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 growers, 15 uh, winemakers there. So mm. it's, very, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's rare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's rare. And it, there's, a, but there's space to grow. Um, there's a, there's a, you have space to extend yeah. the nation, but then, then the rest of Burgundy is more, they are more restricted in terms of like, um, um, a superficie uh, of of vineyards that you you are you are quite lucky to be able to uh, plant um, yes yes and make more wine <laughs> and it's less less expensive as well yeah uh, yeah um, thank you uh, so uh, maybe we can try um, a bit of the wines. Um, so we do you want to start with um, Petit Chablis and just to talk a bit more about the uh, 2018 vintage. Sorry, so for please. those who has the 2017 vintage, you'll see the label is uh, a bit different. Uh, so this is the, the label of the 2018 vintage, uh, but this is the same wine, just the label is a bit different from the first one. Alors, yes, Petit Petit Chablis sur les Clos, um, it's, you know, in Chablis, there are four uh, levels of um, appellation, Petit Chablis, Chablis, Chablis Premier Cru, and Chablis Grand Cru. Petit Chablis is on the top of the hill, and the soil is a little bit different than Chablis. We are on Titonien, it's, uh, it's from Jurassic, but it's not the same... Uh, the same type of soil than uh, in Chablis and Chablis Premier Cru. Sur les Clos, it's very special. It's uh, in Chablis, there is a Grand Cru which is called Grand Cru Les Clos. And on the top of the hill, just behind the Grand Cru Les Clos, there are some, uh, some vines on a special plate which is called Sur les Clos. This Petit Chablis comes from this, this soil. 
it's very interesting because it gives much more powerful Petit Chablis than classical Petit Chablis with more, more, more mineral and full bodied. Uh, I love this place. It's fantastic. Um, I dire, même le jus de raisin, je sais pas comment dire ça. The uh, grape juice. The grape, yeah. The grape juice is very interesting. When you taste the grape juice, you say, ah, it's not the same than the grape juice from Chablis and it's very, very different. Because sometimes Petit Chablis can, uh, can be um, a bit thin and um, uh, you know, so Sur les Clos has that concentration and um, you have like um, a very like the, the, the quite powerful, like uh, quite a lot of personality uh, yes. to it. Um, yes, a yeah. lot of personality, yes. Yeah. On, on that wine, I, I smell uh, it's very mineral and uh, they are from, for me, uh, some, um, uh, uh, il y a un peu d'agrumes, mais, mais pas que. C'est un peu citrus fruit. Like, it's more like, it's more like, more like d'agrumes, uh, like grapefruit. Or... Oui, des citrus fruit, mais un peu confit, tu vois. Un peu baked. Un peu séché, voilà. C'est très minéral, il y a un peu, de, de, a little bit of mint. Mm. Ou verveine, verveine, menthe, quelque chose comme ça. Verbena. Um, C'est très, très minéral. Hein. Moi, je trouve qu'il y a... Candid. Très... That was the, the, the word I was looking for. Candid. Candid fruit. Ah, yes. Candid. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So 2019 was um, a, a warmer year. Yes. Um, just to explain, because as um, some uh, people have the 2017 vintage, so the 2018 vintage would be slightly um, um, different uh, because the year, uh, obviously, the vintage was not the same. Can you talk about uh, about the 2018 vintage for Petit Chablis, just so? Uh, for, for, uh, 18, it was very, very mature, yes. It was very hot summer, uh, big production, grapes were, were perfect. And uh, wines, when they are, were young, there was, uh, for the white, there was very full-bodied and sometimes a little bit more, uh, a little bit, uh, j'allais dire un peu mou, uh, je sais pas comment on dit en anglais. <laughs> a little bit. Lack, of, lack of energy, maybe? Yes, yes, and with with the aging, they they um, they um, um, retrouve, comme on dit, retrouve cette énergie. Et on, on regagne de l'énergie là avec 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 le avec les, les, les mois qui passent. On retrouve de l'énergie dans le vin. Uh, so with the um, with the months going ahead, you just refine again that energy in the wine. Yeah. Ouais. Là, for, for me, in the, in the palette, the, the, the first uh, attack is a little bit round. And after that, the energy come, uh, is coming. And on the, on, um, en final, I don't know how to say it in English, en final, at the end, yeah. I have a, a salty taste and long, uh, and the acidity come back uh, after drinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you still have that lovely um, acidity that quite typical for Chablis. Um, and then you, you, you have that roundness of the year, but you still have that nice, um, fresh min mineral acidity, um, which makes, makes us salivate a lot. And then, yeah. yeah so. And the second test is more interesting for me. For the vinification, 
50% of this wine is uh, fermented on uh, stainless steel tanks and 50% on big barrels, 400 liters or 600 liters, 600 liters, old barrels, not young. It's, uh, it's give uh, more minerality on barrels than on tanks. So uh, for, it's very interesting to, to have um, this blending of 50-50. Yeah, you, you, uh, for all your wines, you, you tend to age a bit uh, to put part of it or the whole of it um, to age it in barrels for a tiny bit of time. Um, this is this is the way you 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 work through all your all your wines, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on the year and then. Um, so this is the, the the oak is quite subtle. I say it's not like to pronounce. It's quite no. well integrated with the fruit, I find. Well, we, I, I use uh, new oaks and uh, old oaks, but um, our, um, uh, come on, tonnelier, uh, our, our oaks, um, come on, tonnelier. So, so the, the person who makes the barrel, yeah. yeah. Uh, Give, uh, he, 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 he sell to us uh, uh, very interesting barrels, which which uh, give um, just a little taste of wood, very very dis, uh, uh, discreet. Je sais pas comment on dit discreet. Yeah. <laughs> comment? Discreet. Discreet. Oh, so, discreet. So very very interesting. Mm. C'est le yes. même que Gouffier. Very really nice. I hope I hope you. What do you, what, if everyone likes it? So the, the, we produce uh, a good year. This was, 18 was a good year. Uh, we produce uh, 4,000 bottles of this wine uh, a year. Yeah. Not very much. No, it's like a low, a low crop, yeah. That was great. If you have any question as well, do, do not hesitate to, to pop um, uh, your question in the chat box. Um, and then, um, yeah, just if you have any. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. So let's. Hello. Hmm. After Hello. that, we can test the red, Epineuil red. So the uh, Bourgogne Epineuil, which m most of you uh, has um, either on the wine list or on the shelves, um, uh, it's. Um, uh, Dominique is going to. Right. It was the same for Epinoy than in Chablis. Uh, very good year, very generous year, very mature grapes. Um, everything was perfect for this year. Absolutely a, a dream. And um, so it's a uh, Pinot Noir, only Pinot Noir in, that, in this wine. Um, some of them are um, uh, in Selection Massal. It's an uh, old Pinot Noir that we, uh, uh, comment dire, uh, qu'on multiplie. Qu on you replicate? Um... We, we duplicate Pinot Noir, yes. From old, uh, old, um, old, um, old one, old Pinot. And, uh, 50% of this wine, uh, is, no, not 50, 70% of this wine is distem and 30% whole cluster. The fermentation takes place on stainless steel tanks and it, it, it's uh, uh, during three weeks. And on that time we test every day and uh, and we decide to do something or something else. Uh, every day is we, 
we we try to find the good way to make the good wine at the end. After the fermentation, we put uh, this on uh, on the barrels, not young barrels, uh, old barrels, only five percent of new, and we leave the wine until it's good. So mostly it's between eight to 11 months, mostly. But there are no rules. We decide when we test. We don't add anything on this wine until the bottling. So no yeast, no sulfite, no, absolutely nothing. We just decide to add a little bit of sulfite just one month before the bottling to keep the freshness of the wine. Because until 2006, uh, I used to make wine without sulfites, and I get sometimes some problems with uh, Breton, Bret, Bret, or, or sometimes it was not um, precise. So um, I prefer to do that now. And um, and we bottle uh, we bottle the wine when it's good. So. Uh, Normally, for this one, uh, our classic Epineuil, it's uh, on August or, or November, so mostly. Uh, for the 19, we just bottle uh, at the end of March of this year. So okay. there are no rules. And um, for that wine, I tried to do the same thing that all the wines. So I tried to make a drinkable wine with a uh, I try to have pleasure, uh, wine with pleasure, on, only that. Yeah. And if and if you have a, a specialist, I am very happy if the specialist can find what we, what he wants. But if if he's not, I'm very happy to to see that people are, are, have pleasure uh, when they drink wine. So I try to do that. Yeah, it's um, it's a very approachable wine for for people, I think, because you don't you, you have that easy approach. It's not too complicated, but you still have a lot of aromas and structure that makes the wine stand out um, on your table or with a meal. Um, so it's not just you know just uh, quaffable like glue glue. Uh, you just you really have that uh, texture which is um, really nice um, with a meal, uh, but it's. Um, it's very approachable and then um, enjoyable as it is as well uh, on its own. The grapes were very mature. We can find it uh, when you on the nose. It's uh, for me. Uh, there are some red fruits, uh, cherry and strawberry, and a little bit or so. Uh, I, I don't know the one in English, but the reglis. Uh, licorice. Uh, Licorice. A little bit of that, uh, licorice. But it's fine. It's, uh, and also some, uh, on, sent, on sent la terre, quoi, the earth of the epineuil. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, right, and chalky taste. And, Sometimes in, in red epinoy, you have um, also, I, I don't find it now, but uh, violet taste, like a Syrah. Uh, sometimes we can, we can imagine that it's a blend of uh, Côte du Rhône and Burgundy, a little bit of Syrah and Pinot Noir. Uh, and for me, it's a very, uh, it's very typical from epinoy with a, this violet taste and the body is sometimes like a Côte du Rhône and the, the black fruit and the red fruit of the Pinot Noir and the freshness of the Pinot Noir. So it's very interesting because it's, it's very different than a Burgundy from, the, from Beaune or Nuit Saint-Georges. Yeah, 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 it's a diff different expression. I say if you taste, if you do blind tasting, not sure that some, you can be a bit confused and then well, oh. yes, yes. Sometimes we, you can find also uh, 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 
orange sanguine, so uh, je sais pas comment on dit. Uh, Not orange. Red, uh, red oranges and, and uh, mang mango. Mang mango. Mango. Yeah, mango. 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 Sometimes, not now, but sometimes we have some. Uh, um, the, the, the the taste of a white wine. It, it, it's French. It's delicious. It's full bodied and brown. Tannin are present, but not um, dry. And you have this salty taste uh, at the end, uh, typical from a, a mineral terroir. And it gives the freshness of the wine because there, are, there is no acidity on that wine. But the, the, that seems to be a little bit of acidity, but it is the, 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 the minerality of the terroir which gives this uh, freshness. The fact that it shares the same. <laughs> Like uh, the, the fossils, like oysters fossil, like um, terroir than the one that we find in Petit Chablis. So that gives that really um, lively minerality. Um, so you be, you be, you're quite lucky in the time, like, because um, uh, of what's happening with the global warming and then the exactly. years have become hotter and hotter. Because yes. um, Lepinay, um, you are quite like far north Burgundy, so you you have um, uh, a cooler climate, I would say, in a warm year. And then the, the soil, which is our, like, um, gives a minerality, like uh, lifted up and like more energy. And then, um, yeah. so you, you are, you, you, you're quite lucky in that. Uh, yes. Producer. It was, it, it, Yes, 30 years ago, it was not this. Pinot Noir were, some, were sometimes not mature and the color were, were very light uh, with a little bit of, um, uh, come on, the note uh, un, peu, un peu végétal. Uh, mm. uh, green, green, green. Yeah, sometimes green because not mature, but now uh, grapes are very mature and we wait, we can wait to, to have the, the best maturity we want. Because now we, we started uh, picking in, um, it, in September, but uh, 30 years ago, it was uh, on, on the middle of October. Mm. Uh, the day were very, very short and it was cold. Now it's very hot, sometimes too hot. We, 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 we pick the grapes only in the morning. It's very different. It's not the same, uh, the, yeah. the same, the same place. So, what do you say? Um, the the Epinay will, um, will you, should be paired with in terms of like food, food and. Um... Ah yes, for the, alors, I like it with lamb. Um, also with red red meat. Uh, um, Burns, uh, come on, the, on, bar on, on barbecue. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, bar barbecue. And it's very interesting also with fish because of this minerality. It's very interesting mm. with the la lot. Alors, je sais pas comment on dit lot en anglais, mais. Monkfish. Ouais, ça j'aime bien. Et uh, there are some spicy tastes on Epinoy, so with also a. Uh, um, uh, North African food is very interesting. With a, a spicy food, it's very, 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 it matches uh, very good. Mm. Yeah, it's good. So you have like a sweet spice, uh, uh, sweet spice, mild spice that could go very well with like, yeah, like, a, or like a tagine or, you know, some. Yeah, sort. yes. Yeah, avec, and also with some cheese, not every cheese, but. Um, I like it very much with um, uh, epois. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, very burgundy cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if people... Very, very, very <laughs> strong, but very, <laughs> very fine in the palate. But on the nose, whoa. <laughs> and it's... Um, it's um, oh, I think, I think Rian, you have your... Um, 
if the sound is on on your on your computer no, sorry. Let's have a that's look. okay super uh so yeah so it's 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 more it's more wine that is um uh that you can in on the restaurants when you have like uh you know, your table with sports meat or fish. This is this will be perfect as like a, um, uh, something in between. Where where would you would you would you say that? Would you say that they go? It will go well uh, on the table with like a fish as well, like you said, like monkfish and um, or white meat or. You told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, when Rianne was it was you were because when you talk basically it's the one talk you yeah. are on the main screen. If you don't talk, you are in a small clip. But yeah, now now yeah. Rianne is muted, so it's, it's you on the camera. <laughs> yeah. I see. Um, so yes, uh, mostly mostly I I I, I, I um, come on, je préconise. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Je préconise. You uh, recommend. I recommend with uh, with uh, meat and also uh, some uh, uh, on, charcuterie. Je sais pas comment on dit non plus. Charcuterie. Charcuterie and and uh, 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 North African food or, or Chinese food too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Japanese food. Japanese food. It's very good. Red, red. This red with Japanese food. Mm, so it's good. very versatile. Uh, I would say it can it can. Can go with a, a lot of different different uh, thing. Yes, and uh, with nothing. Oh, when with you, nothing. When, when you're thirsty. So <laughs> <yeah. laughs> um, I thought Harry um, asked a question, but that was I think that was for Petit Chablis um, when we were in the Petit Chablis. So I didn't ask, I shouldn't ask you. What is your favorite vintage of Petit Chablis sur les clos? My, uh, for me, so, yes, uh, my favorite is uh, 2009, so it's old. Uh, it was fantastic. 2009 was fantastic. And after that, uh, alors, uh, 16 and 17, I love those, those, those wines. And after that, uh, uh, perhaps 19. Now it's good. Eh? Now 19, it will be very, very good. I, I hope so. And 18, I, I like it. But 99, for me, it's better. For, for red also, uh, 19, it's wow. Yeah. So, so good. It's a little production, but uh, high level. For, for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope for you, but for me it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, voila, 20, uh, yes, 20, 20 will be very interesting too. Very, very, very interesting. It's it's not bottled now, but um, for red, for white, no, it's like 20, uh, near, near 20, Perhaps, uh, sorry, near 19, but perhaps that 20 is a little bit higher than 19, perhaps. Okay. Well, we yeah. really look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. low, low production too, but very, very good. Yeah. And we want to change uh, some things on vines, vinification. We are, every, every time we, we want to make better, and we want to to have uh, to find more energy on, on whites and more pleasure and more fine reds, finest reds. So we, we try some things. We work on the maturity of the grapes and on, on the vinification. Uh, we will try um, uh, les amphores. Cette yeah. année, this year, and, and uh, des cuves béton. Alors, je sais pas comment on dit béton. Uh, concrete. En Sorry. Con concrete. Concrete. Concrete um, uh, tanks. 
ovoid. We will try this. And so we try. To still uh, experimenting. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Every time. <laughs> every time. That's good. Well, I don't know if you have uh, some so people are um, any question on the EPI um, 2018. Uh, the um, I know that few few of you have uh, have it on the list already. So uh, if you have anything to ask to Dominique, um, there's a time. This wine is a blend of different uh, plots. Mm. And we produce uh, mm, 30,000 bottles of this. Mm. It's our biggest production. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Ah, j'ai pas vu. <laughs> j'ai pas regardé. Uh, it's really delicious. It's easy, it's easy to drink. It's very drinkable yes. wine. Mm. Yes, you have finished the bottle in no time. <laughs> yes. For me, it's yes, exactly. I like I like this. Well, thank you, Dominique. Thank you to you. And I hope uh, to see you in uh, in, in the Anytime, domain. Uh, yes, when the uh, things go back to normal, I'll uh, rush to Burgundy. Uh, and then yeah. visit. It would be great. Yes, yes, looking forward to it very much. In the meantime, we, we find a way to taste wine together, which is. which is. Uh, yes, yes. Is, uh, I hope. We hope. We hope. Yes, we hope so. <laughs>